always have. Yeah, yeah. It's always been a relax, nice, relaxed time. That's the way I like to keep it. You know? And you're right, actually, especially with the kind of life you've always said professionally, in the public eye, the whole lot, and I suppose your father as well, mm -hmm. before you, you were always kind of in the limelight, so you kick back and chill out at Christmas time. We have to start with this lovely photo. Can I please just yeah. show this photo? <laughs> this is Ida and your two sisters. My what two are their sisters, names? Myra and Duna. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And tell us about the the, the night shirts you're wearing. Well, mummy and daddy were on a trip. I don't know if it was an all-star trip or some class of a trip, and they were in the States and came back with these and insisted on the, on that Christmas Eve that we dress up. <laughs> I think that he took the photograph. Mick and his three girls. You Mick know? and his three girls. <laughs> yeah. it, it was Mick who actually applied for your job at the first day here on RT, wasn't it? It was, yeah. I, it was for radio announcer, and I was over, I was teaching in France at the time, but there was a big postal strike here at the beginning of 1979. So in case I didn't get the application form at the post, mm -hmm. he filled one out here. Fair play to him. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, sure, I always say he got me the job. Every medal, every fresh, every everything I ever took part in, he'd remember, whereas I haven't a clue. He was a really full-on, mm -hmm. hands-on dad. I mean, that's 